going in. After that last Barney. <laughs> what is that? <clears throat> Australian for hangover? I believe I can translate. Boomerang has a concussion. From the enemy you missed in our last encounter. <laughs> Guess those teeth are sharper than your eyes, Shark Man. I never you miss. Never miss. Yes. never miss. Yeah, yeah, we bloody know. You never shut up about it. <laughs> Task Force X. Alpha target is uh. in the open. Get your asses to the Metropolis Grand Hotel and engage before I have another reason to blow those bombs in your heads. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, it's the national underground. Uh. off the old sentence. That's reminding me of something. Oh yeah! Wally's stupid alpha target. Are we supposed to be killing again? Oh, look, it's Superman. The mighty Superman has just rescued that pilot. What a show off. Beat it! What's up, what's up, real MVPs, Ricky Widmer here, and I am back with, yet again, another DC Fandom video. I'm putting out a lot of these videos today because of what we saw yesterday on Saturday. Some people might have saw it over the night, some people might have saw it on Sunday, but I'm recording these videos, and in this one, talking about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, the game by Rocksteady. And we knew this was coming on MVP Games Live. Soapy and I had kind of talked about it already. Um, but now we get to see our first trailer from the game. And to me, the most important thing with this is two things. Number one, Tara Strong is back as Harley Quinn. Oh, I am... So excited for that alone. When I heard her voice, I was like, yes, this is the Harley Quinn I am used to. Of course, it's not the exact same one from the animated series. I believe that uh, Strong only did it for the Arkham games. And then moving forward, she did it in the cartoons. But this is a voice that needed to be nailed for this game. So I'm happy with that. The other thing I loved about this trailer is this game attitude wise and how the characters kind of interacted with each other. This seemed like this is what I wanted from a suicide squad game and from a suicide squad trailer from them kind of arguing with each other 
at the beginning of the trailer to getting bombs over Baghdad by Outkast, kind of being the main soundtrack to the mayhem that is going on. Harley Quinn with her bat and flip. You had dead shots in this game. He's got the kind of guns on his arm, but he's also got the kind of jetpack on his back where the developer has said there is going to be an ultimate move where he kind of dumps that fuel and kind of roasts enemies like we saw in the trailer. We've got King Shark in this one. He, to me, looks like he's going to be the one hitting you with his fist, but he also has that kind of big fucking machine gun um, that he was mowing people down with. And then we got Captain Boomerang, to where with me, maybe a Flash fan in the comment section can clear this up for me, but it looked like he was using super speed. It looked like he was zipping through while swinging his uh, boomerang around. And the other question I have about this is we only saw four characters. I listed them. We saw Harley Quinn. We saw Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, and King Shark. My first thought was, are these the only ones we are going to see? Where, of course, of course we're going to see Justice League characters in the trailer. They were like, oh, who's the alpha target? And then we see Superman blows the guy's head up. Oh, shit, we got to go ahead and kill Superman. Um, we probably can suggest that Superman is not the only JLA character um, that we are going to be going up against. We'll probably go up against Wonder Woman, Batman, maybe some Green Lantern and Flash thrown in there. Um, maybe an Aquaman, too. Who knows? But to me, for Suicide Squad, are these going to be the only SS characters we play as? Will there be DLC down the line where they add in some of the characters maybe that we saw in the first movie, maybe that we're seeing in the James Gunn movie that we know from the comics? Because Suicide Squad is kind of one of those groups that has an ever-expanding roster and I wonder if, hey, they just focused it on these four. These four are going to be the Task Force X for this game. Or if there will be more that we see. Maybe they team up with other villains that aren't in Suicide Squad. I don't know. I have no, like, that's the thing. I don't know where, I know where the story is. I know, like, hey, we've got to hunt down Superman and kill Superman. But there's so much that they could do with this game that I'm excited for. Like, when it comes to the story, I won't kind of stress on this too much because we're going to talk about this on Monday for MVP Games Live, twitch.tv backslash MVP vids, or you'll find it here on YouTube after we record it. But at the beginning, the purple ship we see and how we see in Superman's eyes that it's like they're purple. I wonder if Brainiac is going to be behind this. I wonder if this is going to be there's a reason Superman is acting the way he is, and there's a reason why Amanda Waller and the U.S. government want the Suicide Squad to be fodder when they're like, hey, try to tr try to kill Superman. And it's like, well, that's kind of an impossible task. Oh, let's throw Task Force X at them and the Suicide Squad, because if they die, who cares? They're just criminals and villains um, in this story. So this game looks fun. It looks to be... It looks like it's going to be fun playing as the different characters and their different styles. It looks like they've captured everything we want from a Suicide Squad game. I cannot wait to see more from this. I cannot wait to play it. I think this one's coming out in 2021 also. This should be a great, 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 great game to play, and I can't wait to pick it up when it comes up. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and remember, if you want to help support the channel, help what we're doing here at MVP, make sure to check out patreon.com backslash MVP vids. That is how you go ahead and support us. Make sure that we can keep doing these videos that we love to do for you each and every day. Make sure to let me know down below what you guys thought of the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League trailer. And as always, have a good day, everybody. Bye.